steel are not on the table, but still are looming. Few challenges still are not on the table, but still are looming. The first and the key one is the war. This government is the wartime government. And uh, let me put it bluntly, we are still in the state of war and the key aggressor is Russian Federation. And until we get the peace, it would be really difficult to have real changes. In the entire Ukraine. He cannot hold the agreement signed between the European Union and Ukraine, and then uh, not uh, adopting these measures uh, uh, to uh, punish the Russia for its stance on the association agreement, right? We making these measures uh, to make it absolutely clear that we will not sit without any reactions uh, uh, if the international rule is being violated in such a way as we have seen in Crimea and when the Russians now with the direct involvement are actually adding to the escalation in the east. This is where the sanctions sort of play uh, the role. In the European Union and we are aspiring to be a member of the EU. My point about not letting Donbass to be transformed in a sort of frozen conflict, it's exactly through the, through the political inclusive process there, through local elections, through legally electing the real representative of Donbass. If we compare the whole situation there, and I, I hate, you know, comparing with other conflicts like Abkhazia, Chechnya, the whole idea of putting aside elections was one of the preconditions for creating the frozen conflict there. So elections, local elections, are absolutely key as a precondition for not letting, you know, not to slide the whole situation into a kind of frozen conflict. One way.